Kadogi, Leshki in blue. There's some stats on the screen for you. Neil will take you through those in a minute. The referee in the middle for this one is Ramzi Shamirov of Tajikistan. Yeah, I think that the main point here is that people are absolutely going for world ranking points. Uh, it's all about qualification and uh, we've got some with high world rankings and uh, just trying to cement their top 18 to be in the top 18 uh, for the uh, Olympic qualification. Of course, it doesn't absolutely guarantee them qualification because uh, uh, sometimes they've got two or three in the same country, same weight category. And then uh, if they've got two or three in the top 18, the country decides who's going to go. So only a few, country have that, a few countries have that... Uh, um, that possibility but uh, anyway here we go uh, we've got uh, first bronze medal matchup Ivanescu from Romania is in white here Leski of Slovenia in blue Ivanescu had to come through the repechage lost in the quarter final and had to get past Mylin del Toro Cavallal that was a good win against the Cuban to set up this Contest with Leski. Leski lost a semi final to Prisca Awiti Alcaraz of Mexico, who we'll see in the final. What a tournament she's having. Wow. She's just having the most amazing tournament, and uh, what a, an hip on in her semi final. Like you said, we'll see her a little bit later on. Yes, two, two bronze medal contests and then the final. So a lot to look forward to. And we've got four weight categories today. Yeah, four weight categories. We've seen some good judo today. A mixture. Uh, we've seen some good transitions as well. We were talking about the um, Japanese team and they're just plugging away and still leading in the medals i mean after day one it can all change day two and three but uh they have a team out there that's not always the top ones but they've been plugging away uh, their transition has been saving them and uh, i've got to say that even if you're a little bit off with your standing work then if you've got good transition you can follow it down into newaza that was certainly the case today with horikawa megumi We'll see in the final. Didn't look as sharp. I mean, world champion, you expect her to be sharp, but didn't look that threatening today. But finished off everyone with it on. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to be absolutely dynamic all the time. And I think it's uh, the fact that we kind of expect them to be exceptional mm. all the time. You know, it's um, like if Ono comes out, everybody expects him to throw for it on. And a uh, big shock if it doesn't happen. Well, just trying to snap that grip off there, Lesky, and uh, almost got caught there with that Soto Makikomi, Ivanescu. Pretty similar styles, these two. Both just spoiling. that arm over the top. Ivanescu now. They're gripped up. Something should happen from here. Well, Leski threatened a moment ago with a Koso to Gaki to begin with. She's gone back to the feet. Didn't quite finish off, but I thought that was a good a good call yeah, to threaten Ivanescu. She went outside with the Koso to uh, Gaki and then just there again outside. A little Koso de Gari. Yeah, it didn't quite uh, put her just on a backside and her hands, her a did it? Just rattled her. <laughs> Seen a lot of this uh, sleeve gripping. So they're really trying to work hard against the uh, dominant sleeve. That's. One of the best defences, actually, from somebody dominating your sleeve is to take the lapel, either cross-grip or the um, 
the one that's directly in front of you, and I used to use that all the time as a defense. And then, of course, now we can set up, so a big advantage uh, to attack off it. Inside the last minute, well, just over half a minute left to go. No score, just the two penalties picked up, one each. Gonescu and Leschke. Backed up to the edge there. Just about stayed in. Uh, we understood that, what she was uh, being asked to do. And that, well, was it, did it get the uh, landing? Yes, of course, the uh, the coach thought, uh, thought so, as you could hear. But um, did she get it? Uh, it wasn't far off, was it, actually? like to see it from the other side I'm not sure if we got uh, a couple of uh... well they've given it was Ari well they're gonna have a look whilst Leshki's tidying up okay nope that's it done now yeah so stolen yeah. wasn't it Avanescu there stole with that particular technique there and uh, just gets it it certainly looked as if it had a 90 degree landing, but you, you normally like to see it from a couple of different angles, don't you, before you can make a, an absolute decision on it. Yeah, I think we will get to see the, the other angles from which the commission were able to make that decision. A first look for us from this side was maybe not, but we can't see from the other side just how much of the shoulder and side made contact Let me have a look at that but the referee actually was in the best position because it was on his side he was well placed and he didn't really have a, a great deal of um, hesitation no, he just he was it, confident in yeah, doing absolutely. Both uh, pretty similar with their styles. Both wanted to uh, dominate the grip. You see, she immediately turned onto a front afterwards, but it's the initial first landing there that uh, is the important thing. Now it's time for the highlights. Tai Toshi. And. Women under 63 kilo. Actually, you can see there why it is Tayatoshi. She just springs up with that right leg and manages to uh, get lift with it. 